Greetings, it is I, Susie Q, witchering up your fill, lighting you up, and turning you on, and illuminating the miracles in your juicy, juicy, juicy life, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm working with this one series, and it's called A Life Review with No Physical Ascension. Again, A Life Review with No Physical Ascension. And what that might mean is that it might mean that uh, there might be some things that you might have have unfinished before you leave the body right and then you possibly could go into source or go to God and then you might get some sort of a review and so when we look at these reviews when a person has vibrated out of the body is that we can really start looking at just taking care of things now while we're still in the body while we still have the body right you know our juicy sovereign divinity is that we can start kind of looking at life in a different way looking at some of the stories of our lives or looking at some of the events of our lives uh, good, bad, or, you know, awesome, right? But it's really neat when we can kind of look back and then we can do a little bit of clearing some energies and harmonizing um, some of these experiences. So I've got a dowser. So normally when I'm doing the clearing, uh, the releasing and the activation, I'm using my, my hands or my body to do the dowsing. Um, but I also have a little pendulum. So if you have a little pendulum too, uh, and if you're listening, you might want to just grab a pendulum or if you work with your own body or there's different techniques that you don't need a device to actually uh, get the dowsing and get the information through. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get, get started with this juicy, juicy conversation, a life review with no physical ascension. Now, we've been doing a little bit of a timeline. You know, this is about my my experiences, but I believe uh, when you're really listening to some of these like conversations here is you might find some commonality with yourself. And then you might notice that some of the things that you've experienced before um, maybe weren't 100% and maybe there might have been something else that we could do uh, to assist you with uplifting whatever that conversation was or that experience. So it's really, really fun. So the dowsing is fun. I'll probably, I'll probably go ahead and still use my body, but the dowsing and the pendulum is kind of fun to play with. It's just kind of interesting. Okay, so now we're going to go into, I've got three talking points about some of my life experiences. <laughs> So sorry if it's boring, right? <laughs> I think it's kind of fun to kind of look at it. Okay, so so look at 2013. So 2013, I was back in Houston, back with my family of origin, uh, real estate broker, and was really kind of, you know, loving the experience of flowing into new uh, energies, new uh, offices, and, and new clients. I had a bunch of uh, clients back in Austin, and I was I was all, really by referral basis uh, back in Austin. Then coming to Houston, I'm like a baby. I'm like, I don't know anybody, you know? So it was like really an interesting time but it was fruitful I was really starting to really gain some really good uh, feelings uh, with other uh, pa uh, client not patients <laughs> I work at a chiropractic office too um, but with the uh, with the uh, clients that I had so I had some really neat experiences with that so that was a really kind of a glorious time it was kind of a time of discovery and learning and growing and expanding and and back in Austin I didn't do any networking groups because people just knew me it was crazy but back in Houston I started doing networking groups Groups and was leading some of the the women's groups back there and so it's just been a really a fun time it was a really a glorious time but what I'd also like to just move into a little bit of just noticing some of these phrases here so there was a huge change for me from Austin to Houston and then things were changing kind of abruptly and in a really kind and loving way when I was at Houston beginning to get my practice up as a real estate broker and so that change energy is going to be really, really, um, it's going to be really neat. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do a little bit of releasing. We're going to do a little bit of releasing around what we call change, releasing some of the lamenting about what was before, you know, now it's a little bit different. But we just start noticing the changing vibrations, the changing of the location, the changing of our friends, the changing of our clients, or, or the changing of our own, you know, central nervous system. You know, sometimes moves create some of that consciousness with the central nervous system and it kind of influences some things uh, related to your physicality your body so that central nervous system so with that change uh, sometimes there might be some shifts there when you're moving and having a different experience okay so we're going to go ahead and clear that now so now we're going to move into regenerating so that was a great year 2013 was fun and I got to meet all these great you know people with the networking stuff which I never did like I said in Austin and I just got to 
really get connected with a lot of people through networking. It was like super fun and super amazing. So that regeneration of, you know, me coming in uh, to a new space and really like really loving it, it was really, really kind of uh, working for me. So just notice the times in your own life. So I think I'm done clearing, uh, releasing and activating. But like look at your life when you're having experiences that, you know, like it's like kind of like, I don't know exactly what's going to happen next. And then you start noticing that it's all working for you. You know, the energies and all of your helpers are there for you all the time. So these are great experiences with change and that regeneration. You know, you start kind of regenerating into a whole new version of yourself. And so we do that all the time, right? Okay, so the next one is we're going to move into 2014. 2014, again, was a prosperous time. So 2014 was very, very prosperous for me back in Houston as a real estate broker. And um, and so it's like, so funny because I, I used to do all kinds of different uh, real estate, you know, back in the Hill Country. We did land development, property management on the commercial side and on the um, residential side. And then land developments and all these different things and, you know, building uh, custom homes and then <laughs> just all these kind of like new home sales and everything. So I was like super dialed in, but what was funny with the 2014 in Houston, it was like so crazy. And there might be times for you where you're just like, I'm really, you know, kind of in the right spot and everything's working for me. It's like super groovy and it's super awesome. And it's like, whoa, I just can't believe how amazing it is. And then you start noticing that you just, you know, just, you know, everything is working on your behalf. Like all the energies and all the vibrations, everything that is assisting you with your beautiful divinity, it's like working for you. And in, even when I look at it, um, I, that was probably my, my highest level of income for a resale residential piece. Now, back in Austin, I did a lot of other stuff and there was more money there, but this was kind of a neat thing when I noticed it was like, well, God, this is my highest level for residential resale, you know? So that was like kind of fun. It was like, wow, I just had some sort of a, epitome there, you know? So that was kind of fun. So when we look at some of this, this prosperous feeling, and um, you might notice that, you know, sometimes we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of, um, we're going to do a little bit of clearing energy too you know because like maybe that was in 2014 but maybe now it's like I don't have that right now you know I'm not really you know into that energy it seems like that you know the the frequency of currency or abundance or manifestation is like it's like it's not working so we're going to be moving into releasing through some smooth smooth sailing some smooth juicy energy to just kind of assist with releasing some of those things maybe where it was like super awesome but then there were challenges or maybe that money that prosperous you know energy wasn't really it wasn't there you know so we're just going to remove and keep that smooth like super super smooth super smooth and groovy and cool right so we're going to continue so we're still working with kind of smoothing out some things when that prosperity isn't there you know or that your creative spirit maybe has dimmed a little bit you know and so we're going to go ahead and kind of work with that with that creative uh, energy that's maybe dimmed that light has dimmed you know so right now we're we're going to move into bringing that light in and as we do that we're going to be increasing the light increasing the light and that potentiality of that goodness of prosperity what is prosperity and how amazing is it when it's super easy and then you just know the right people, the right connections, the right experience, the right time, the right place. Everything starts lining up for you when we go into the increasing energy of manifestation, creating abundance, working with a sankapa energy, you know, visioning something in the future and then really feeling the effects, feeling the emotional state that, oh, my heart is so wide open to have this beautiful awakening of some beautiful manifestation and abundance abundance of that which I'm seeking. So we move into that increasing energy, increasing even with that uh, central nervous system too, just moving into increasing some of the abundance and the wealth and the health of the body, that physicality, that sense of loving yourself and that zest and zeal for life. Okay, so I think we're done with that now. Okay, so that was super fun. <laughs> I could do the pendulum, but I love working with my body when I do uh, some uh, just kind of looking at the releasing and the activations. I love to just kind of keep moving and be fluid with the energies. Okay, so the third one here is, let's see where I'm at. So with the third one is uh, 2015 was my Kundalini awakening. <laughs> God. What a, that was a hot mess, people. That was a freaking hot mess, all right? 
So a lot of things shifted. I'm probably going to do several different videos re re regarding my 2015 Kundalini Awakening. And so I don't even know where to begin with it, but it was just a wackadoodle experience. I had a lot of spiritual gifts that came in that year. And um, if, ideally, ideally, I think for a person who's awakening to more gifts, it would be better to have them be one or two and then wait and let them process and then maybe have a, one or two more and then let them process. I had a band of energies that came in in 2015 and it was like, oh my gosh, what in the world? So a lot of things shifted in there, okay? And so when we talk about shifting, we were talking about 2014 in that, that prosperous year, you know, before uh, the 2015 energy, right? It's so crazy how our lives you know, are assisting us, our lives and our presence and our soul aspect or that monad energy, or whatever you want to call it, or source or God is just saying, uh, Susie, uh, hello, hello, we're calling you and you're going to be doing something different now. It was kind of the, this, just like a broadcast, right? Now, did I love it? No. <laughs> Initially, I did not, I did not, right? But then it's really interesting when we start looking at when the source energy or God or whatever you call it, you know, or, you know, cats and dogs living together. But you just start noticing that whatever I had been doing before, I'm not doing it anymore for some reason. So I had a lot of different, uh, different gifts that came in that created a lot of, um, disruptions in my own my vibration i just was like accepting what i could but it was just too it was just too loud i would just say all the gifts were too loud at that time so with that right now I, I'll, I'll get into it with a couple more videos uh to be a little bit more uh giving you more examples you know i'll, I'll give you one one for example is I was highly electrical. So I could, uh, batteries would go dead with me. Um, and I had all kinds of different effects, even with the TV, with a remote, you know, the batteries would go down. So I had all kinds of different high energy uh, uh, work that was going on with the body. There were so many other stories, but we'll, we'll get deeper into it later. But right now what we're going to go in is we're going to look at that Kundalini uh, actually has, um, has um, fully integrated now. It was back in 2015, uh, January 1st of 2015, January 1st. And then, um, and then uh, now it's like 2022, May of 2022. So I'm fully integrated with the energies. So if for people who are having all these different kinds of maybe ascension symptoms or different things, call me, right? Call me um, because I bet I could possibly kind of lean into your vibration and assist you, you even if you've already been through it. Uh, but that was a big bandwidth of energy. Okay, so with this Kundalini Awakening, which was, oh, Oh my gosh oh my gosh what's happening with me um we're gonna move into a collapsing of any residue right so we're gonna do some releasing here or collapsing energy and this would be for you if there's anything that all of a sudden happened in your life that was different or strange or weird and you're like going what the world is that you know so we're just collapsing some of those uh, states of consciousness or those frequencies or those little you know those little stinker energies that every once in a while show up every once in a while when you're happy 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 then and the, those thoughts come back. So we're going to be collapsing or even like dissolving those energies around times where, you know, you were really shifting and and not feeling good in your body or not feeling good with your thoughts. And, you know, just we're just going to be collapsing any of that energy that made you feel a little bit off or um, some upset over the things that you used to do. OK, so we're still getting some energy on that. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we're going to move into, uh, we're going to move into right now the gentling, the gentling of spirit. So do we look at the gentling as we learn our lessons and our life purposes is that we begin to have a more of a gentling experience with our divinity and we start noticing the gifts that all of this has brought to us, all of the gifts that has brought this to us. And it's all good. It's all positive. And it's all loving. <laughs> oh, all right. So, so what I love about this little conversation is that 
it could be applicable to anybody. But some of the stories that I may tell may have, have some relationship with what you're experiencing or what the losses might have been, you know. But we're really focusing on the joy and the happiness. So have a most beautiful day and namaste.